Man. Good morning. It's too early. Like we said last night, we're, if you can sleep, train an adult. We're trying to get ourselves up early a little more each day so that when we get up for our flight tomorrow, we're not garbage. Um, and also, we are checked in for our Southwest flight. We are A. Well, I was going to be A no matter what because of my A-list preferred status, but it actually brought Duncan along. So we got up for nothing, but here we are. Now we've got time finally to watch last week's, last week's? Yeah. Zoe's Extraordinary Clips. It is much, much, much later than that first clip this morning. Uh, Duncan's at work. I just finished work. Um, I actually just finished shipping. I've been done with work a, a little bit, but I'm just having one of those days. I should be like off the wall excited leaving for Hawaii tomorrow and all that, but, and I am. I'm just in a really weird headspace because that job that I was waiting to hear back from, I got a rejection today. Uh, waiting on feedback, but not just that, I got four job rejections total, and I know it's not very healthy to look at them as rejections, but it's what it is. So, yeah, it's just one of those days that is just like, like, I track my jobs so I know how many I've applied to and who I haven't heard back from, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so to fill in four boxes of rejections was just like... Pfft. On the flip side, a job that I interviewed for last week, I had a last minute interview today, like the guy called me at noonish and we had a video chat at three, so I'm not going to hear about that until after we come back because I told them we were going on vacation. So, and honestly, I'm going to try super duper flipping hard to just not apply for any jobs while we're gone, not even think about it. Quite honestly, I, I keep saying I'm going to take a break from applying for jobs, but then I like look at the calendar and I'm, yeah, I mean... Maybe I can take off the rest of February, but I said that last time. And then when a job that looks good comes up, I have to apply. So I don't know, but I do know that I need time away from it, a time, time away from the temp job. I just need a mind reset for sure. So after work, I was just pouting a little bit. But, I don't know, that's where my head's at. I mean, I have a lot of thoughts going through my head, like, do people sponsor people to go to school? I mean, I have a master's degree, and the idea of going back to school again makes my head spin, but I feel like my master's degree holds me back from a lot of, like, entry-level jobs, where it over-qualifies me. So I'm just wondering if I need to go get another one in a more practical application I mean I don't know but I definitely have enough qualifications to not be still unemployed after nearly a year and 300 applications so if you guys have any words of advice please let me know I mean it's it's really tough because you know I've posted about it on Facebook and whatnot and People are helpful, but then, like, people that don't know you that well give you suggestions that just don't make sense. So, I don't know. It's hard to share with people. And it's kind of depressing, you know? Like, I feel like I'm depressing people with how pathetic my job search is going. So, I've got, like, a core five, and that's about it. Well, and you guys. So... Anyway, um, I keep telling myself 
I want to write a book. Like maybe there's a book somewhere in this, but like I feel like there's not a good, like I didn't accomplish them. I mean, I accomplished something. I applied for over 300 jobs and still don't have one. But while that's an interesting fact, there's no like end goal where that can be an example of something. So I have many stories written down, well, typed out, but none of them really flow together to make a cohesive book. So I'm at a standstill on that. So anyway, I am going to do one less content prep before we go. And then I officially won't have to do anything on vacation. It'll be so great. And then it's just um, last minute things. Make sure all the devices are plugged in to charge overnight. Ooh, I gotta finish the laundry. I do gotta do, I have to do that. I guess that's what I'm gonna do next. Um, and then I might go grab a burger from Red Robin if I can get my rear in gear and get some stuff done. Look at you. Did you make a throne of blankets? Are you sleepy from getting up this early too? Oh, she's like, mom, will let me nap in peace. You guys, I just got the best thing in the mail. You guys, if you watch the vlogs, obviously know we end every vlog with everyone needs deadlines and somebody made the sign for us. So if you are looking for a twin to us or they have another wallet quote, you can go to and check Chanted Tiki Designs on Etsy and order one for yourself. Daily Disney for February 8th from Sleeping Beauty. They say if you dream a thing more than once, it's sure to come true. Aurora takes after Walt Disney, who always believed in following one's dreams. You guys, we have a problem. We have to be up in four hours. This is like old school Katie and Duncan. No, old school was we would have said, we're not going to pack till I get home. We're going to try to just stay up through it. And then we wind up going to sleep an hour before we need to get up. And then we sleep for an hour. And then we're just a mess. Well, you're a mess. I'm okay. That's false. <gasps> That is not false information. I'm not a mess. Mm. I just can't sleep on planes that well. Tomorrow I will because we're going to have the longest day ever. So at one point... You're going to have to sleep on a plane. I will fall asleep. It's not that I'm afraid to fall asleep on planes. She's afraid of snakes on a plane. No. <laughs> but I just can't get comfortable. I even... I packed a blanket, which I don't normally do. Yeah, blanket's going to be nice. Yeah. I couldn't find my neck pillow. I have no idea where it is. Not in the bathroom closet? Oh. Well, Anyways. it was attached to my backpack for the longest time. Yeah, I don't know. I would guess that's where it is. But yeah, that's what we used to do because when I used to close the restaurants in Wisconsin, we would just stay up we just stay and up. we can't, you can we never would, make it. We would not pack until we got home so that we had something to do to keep us up. Team no sleep never wins. I mean, we would land and we would go straight to the parks and we were fine. Team no sleep never wins. Well, now we're old. It didn't win when we were kids either. Fun fact, the night before I went to Hawaii last time... We had a stay up all night party because we were in college and I made up parties for everything. And by parties, I don't mean like college parties. I just mean I called every time I hung out with my friends a party. <laughs> like one time every I time had... I hung out with all of my friends, it was a party. Yeah. One time I had a couch party because we got a new couch. I know. Anyway, so we had a stay up all night party, but we were at a school where you couldn't be in the opposite sex dorms after a certain time. So we all gathered in like one of the lounges downstairs for like a marathon game night. And it was like winter season or whatever we called it. 
So, like, there was no one on campus except for the people that were going on the strip. So, yes. I was hanging out with the blow-up palm tree. Anyway. So, with that, we will see you in four short hours. Everyone needs deadlines. Bye-bye. Thanks for coming to the show. Ask for what? I've been